Hi, it's Andrew here at Bayside, and this past weekend we've been talking about what it is to be salt, but also what it is to be light. And we've got a little Irish illustration to help you to see what it's like to be light and how Jesus is truly the light of the world. You're going to love this. Back in Ireland, uh, it was uh, two presidents ago, um, an old Irish tradition was rediscovered. This is our presidential home. This is in Phoenix Park in Dublin. And it uh, looks a little bit like the White House, uh, just a little bit. And, uh, and our president then heard of a, a tradition from a century before it, from the rural communities of Ireland. And there was no motels or there was no hotels or anything like that. What you had basically uh, was people just traveling around. And at nighttime, it was cold, it was wet, and where did they go? But there was a tradition in rural areas of where people, if they had a spare room that night and a clean bed, and they had a meal that they could offer people, they would light a candle beside the window at the front door to say to a weary traveler, welcome, come in. We'll give you a bed for the night and we'll feed you. And our then president heard about this and thought, oh, you know what? That is so cool. Because we have about 77 million people in the world that claim to have Irish roots or ancestry. How many people in here? Anyone in here you got? Oh, look at you. I can see your halos. I can see your halos. <laughs> There's a holy awe in the room there for a second. And this is what she said. I just want those people to know they're always welcome home. So she decided in the president's house that they would leave a light on every night on the window beside the front door to say to the Irish world, you're always welcome home. Never be a stranger. Always come home to Ireland. When Jesus died on the cross, everyone, 2,000 years ago, what is that all about? That's you know, an Easter thing or it's a Christian tradition. No, this is what it's about. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And it looks really cool in the Sermon on the Mount. And you can picture him on a hillside, Swedish Jesus sometimes, Ikea Jesus. He looks so cool. Everyone, Jesus, light of the world, is him bloody, bruised, beaten, scarred, impaled, naked on a cross, dying for us because we were far from God. And he lit up the world at that time and he cries out, Father, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. Don't hold it against them. And he shone brightly and he was saying to every single person in this room, no matter what your background, no matter what your tradition, no matter what your mess, no matter how guilty you feel or how bad you feel about your life or however far you feel from God, you are welcome home. And the light of the cross has never gone out. I want to say to everyone, you are not far from God today. You are close to God. And God says, come home to the light of my love. 